Good morning and welcome to Digging the Course 365, day 32, I think. Today we're at Clacton on Sea. Yeah, it's, it's a lovely place. I'm not going to knock it. I'm, it's just a bit rough in the centre part of it. There's just mobs of kids hanging around on, on the streets, pulling wheelies on bikes, completely out of control. I haven't seen them doing any damage or anything, but uh, yeah, it's not my favourite place, I'll be honest. It's got a pier. Nice long pier behind us there. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Somebody's coming down, I don't know who, I can't remember his name. But I think someone's going to be coming to see me soon. Uh, yeah, you've got this big space here. Which I'm just waiting for the tide to go out a little bit more and I'm hoping this won't be so wet and I can detect this because this is where everything will be trapped, anything good. The only problem is, this beach was reconstructed only last year. Um, they completely redid it all and I think all the sand's probably new as well. Which is maybe why I found a foreign coin yesterday just a bit further up the coast, I think they did it there as well. Um, I think the sand and the rocks have come in from Norway, from what I've been told, so... But, you know, there might have been things from the last year, we just need some gold, that's what we want, gold. Let's get on with it. Clacton on sea. Okay, first signal and it's taken a while. But it's worth it. It's been worth... Oh, it's... Another foreign coin, is it? No, yeah, 20 cent, 20 euro cent, not a bad start. I'm sure this is nothing good, but I'm digging it anyway. Just chatting to another guy who's in the next, like, bay. Says he finds, like, 20 pounds a day. All right, for some. Uh, ring pull. Why does he find £20 and I get a ring pull? This one sounds too good to be true. So it's probably a bottle top. Indeed it is. Yeah, if it sounds too good to be true, it's usually a bottle top. So how much have we raised for Rays of Sunshine so far? Bing! How much have we raised in the last 24 hours? Bing! Still very good. Well done, guys. Thank you very, 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 very much. We're well on course. Um, I don't think I've had any donations in the last, like, six, eight hours. So please get them coming in. Get them coming in. All the links are in the description. Go to digginthecoast.com and it shows you what to do. You can even donate by text. It's very, very easy. Go to digginthecoast.com, scroll down to the bottom and it tells you. You just put a, a number in as a text and then five for, say, five pounds, I think. It's very easy, apparently. So there's no real history to tell you about, about Clacton-on-Sea. Um... So I'm just going to go through, you know, there's no way to take you to show you. So I'm just going to go through what it says on Wikipedia, yeah? I'll tell you a few little bits about it. So it became, I think it became a town in 1871. So it's not very old compared to all, all of the other towns. Um, it saw its peak in tourists in the 1950s up to the 1970s. That's the same with most holiday resorts. What else can I tell you? The one really interesting fact about Clacton is they found the oldest ever spear in Britain here in Clacton. It's called the Clacton Spear and I think it's in the British Museum in London and it's nearly, um, well it's 450,000 years old, a spear. That's pretty cool. I was hoping it had been a local museum here because I'd have loved to have seen that. There's been people here since about 100 before Christ. Um, Romans used to use this, this, well there's some evidence that the Romans came here as, and used it as a seaside resort. I can just imagine, you know, Roman soldiers coming with the bathing suits on and going paddling. And the only other interesting fact I can find out about the place 
is this is for the British people, they'll know who I'm talking about. Darren Day was born here. Darren Day's a presenter off TV, he's a bit of a girl. Apart from that, Clacton on Sea is as rubbish as it sounds and looks. It's full of Essex boys and Essex girls, and they all talk really, really funny and loudly and shout for no reason. Well, I've been trying to persevere with the. Uh... Oh, there's a worm there in the sand. I've been trying to persevere next to the shore and in the places where jewellery and things should be dropped rather than, you know, up at the top where the coins would be. And I just haven't been getting the signals. I've got one in here. Could it be gold? Could it be a ring? Okay, I've persevered with this one. I've gone down and down and down. Thinking, you never know. Could be something good. It's just a massive big lump of rubbish. Oh man, I give up. I give up. Well, I was convinced I'd found the key then, and I might have done. It is, it's a key. But it's not ringing up on my... On my detector. Look at that. I don't think it's an old one. But we've got a key. And there's still something else in here. I wonder if it's another key. I'm seeing silver. Oh, what have we got here? Black horse. <laughs> this must be the key ring. Oh, how cool. Uh, a reward if the if you return the key. Oh, I'm going to have to give them a ring, aren't I? Return their key. <laughs> Turn up with that. Where's my reward? How cool. Black horse key. I've just been joined by Alan. That's Alan. And he's excited me. Because the key I've just found... He says it's Lloyd's Bank. I've lost part of it now. It's a Lloyd's Bank key. You can tell that by the... Because I thought the Black Horse was the name of a pub or an inn. But it's got the logo. Which... Is it Nat West? Uh, it's Lloyd's. Lloyd's. Yeah. Lloyd's Bank. That could well be for a safety deposit box. And there's a telephone number and it says if it's found you get a reward and all that stuff. So I'm going to find the nearest Lloyds Bank and I'm going to say can I open my box please and we'll see what's inside. So that's it for today. Really, really boring video. There's just nothing, nothing here to find. There's a guy over there, he's got the cheapest metal detector, about £70. Reckons he finds £20 every day. Absolute rubbish. He's, he's using a little plastic kid's fork, which they use on a beach. He is not finding £20 a day, I can assure you. And I mentioned it was on about someone inventing something for him. I says, well, something I invented was why don't they get a laser on the end of pinpointers to, so that it points at the metal? He says, oh, they've already done that. Yeah, you can get them on eBay for £15. And they have them in metal detectors as well. You know, this guy obviously knows a lot more than I know if he's getting £20 and knows that them things exist. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Clacton on Sea is pretty clacking rubbish, to be honest. Um, moving on tomorrow to where it's supposed to be like the roughest place, as if this isn't the roughest place. So I don't know if I'm going there, I'm just going to go straight past it a little bit because I've been told you don't want to leave your car there, it'll just get nicked. I'm feeling better than I have done in about two weeks. I feel absolutely fantastic today. Um, I'm certainly not ending the day yet. I'm going to go into Clacton, see what it's all about. See if it's better by day than night. And see if I can find anything to find to film for you. But if not, this is the end of the video, guys. And I'll see you bright and early in the morning. You take care. Have a lovely day. Date. Have a lovely day. And get donating. See you all later. Goodbye on 365.